Hey guys, so I am back with another video and today I am going to be doing a makeup look using the palette that I actually told you guys about in uh, my Prisier haul unboxing type of video. Um, so I'm going to be using this palette here. It's called Twilight um, Dusk Palette. Um, so I'm going to be trying this out. <clears throat> um, I did mention in that video I feel like it was um, I don't have the Huda Beauty one, but I feel like it was technically a dupe for it. Um, I feel like either, I mean, usually like when you order from these companies, you're ordering from overseas and things like that. I feel like maybe this was like the palette that they, um, kind of got and then swapped out colors here and there because some of the colors are pretty similar. I don't know about the consistency. I don't know about the formula, um, but... <clears throat> As far as like the packaging, the girl is different on theirs, but I feel like the packaging and the idea and the concept are very different because I think theirs was called Dusk, the Dusk Palette, and this one is called like, called Twilight and Dusk Palette. So I feel like it's the same concept, but I did really, really, um, I was very, very, um, drawn to the palette I should say so I definitely want to try this out and I said that I would use it in an upcoming um, tutorial also I'm going to be using some of the brushes that I showed you in that video as well um, one just so I can see how they actually operate and if they're like even worth I mean honestly they were only a few bucks so it's it's always going to be worth it but I just wanted to see the quality of them compared to some of my other synthetic brushes so that's what I'm going to be doing today I'm going to quickly do my brows off camera because um I just don't want to do them on camera and it makes no sense and then I'll be back and we will hop into the eyeshadow okay so I have my brows on and we're going to hop right into this tutorial I'm going to try and talk through this video just because I haven't done one of these kind of talking tutorials um, in a long time um, so I'm just going to hop right into it um, I kind of have an idea of what I want to do mainly because I know what lip I want to use um, and honestly that may end up changing as I go through the video but um, first I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Primer Potion this is the Eden one I'm gonna go in this this is like an OZ but goody I'm just gonna use my finger to blend that out And I really like the Eden one because it does like cancel out like the darkness on my eyes instead of using concealer. I haven't really got on the concealer powder trend. I use it. I do do it here and there. Um, but I just really like the Urban Decay Primer Person because I feel like it's drier. And I feel personally like it doesn't crease um, when I use this one. So that's why I continue to use this one. But if I want to be, I guess, extra or fancy or do the YouTube way, I do the concealer and powder. But I just stick to what I know. And this is what I know. Okay. So now that that's blended out, <clears throat> get it together. I am going to go into the palette. And I think the shade that I am going to start with, I'm going to start with this shade right here. Um, it is called Saffron. I'm going to start with that one. Um, I didn't want to jump straight into Turkish Delight, um, but I want to start with Saffron because it's a very pretty color. And I'm looking for a brush. And I'm going to go in with um, one of the brushes from the collection. This one's like a little crooked, but I feel like I can, I can still use it. So I'm going to start blending that kind of. So since my eyes are kind of hooded, I usually like to blend my transition color like up here. Not so much. I usually like to apply it kind of above um, the crease just because a lot of the times when you have hooded lids and you try to get right into that crease, those colors don't show up. So I usually go a little bit above just to create you know, illusion of a higher, a higher lid. So I'm just going to blend that out and we'll move on to the next step. 
and this color is super pigmented guys so pigmented okay so next I'm gonna go in with a another blending brush another one from one of the ones that I showed you in the video and I'm just gonna go in with this shade here it's called blazing and I'm just gonna put that slightly um, above where I just put saffron and I'm gonna do it very lightly kind of like under my brow bone but just a little bit above it just so that that part isn't harsh at all so I'm just going right above saffron and honestly like the, it's so funny like where these names are for this palette they're in the sa the exact same location as the Huda Beauty one so like the names didn't change at all um, it's just the shades are moved around and there's a couple other shades that aren't in the Huda Beauty one so <clears throat> I don't know um, so I'm gonna go in with this brush it's kind of like a large shader brush um, but I'm gonna kind of use it as a blending brush I'm just gonna turn it um, this way and try to work with it from there I might have to go back in with that other blending brush that I was just using but I'm gonna go in with this beautiful shade that I've been dying to use called Turkish delight and I'm just gonna apply that right under saffron just to I'm gonna kind of apply it like so kind of right into my where my natural crease is I would say just gonna apply it right there and I'm even gonna turn my brush kind of to the side so it blends up into saffron I really like this color it's so pretty and very pigmented I'm not getting any fallout on my face but there is like kickback in the palette um, so I just wanted to mention that but like I said fallout and that kind of stuff usually doesn't bother me too much because I don't do my foundation first so it doesn't it doesn't affect how I apply my makeup um, this brush is doing a decent job but it's not like a normal brush I would use for this but we're going to so now I'm going to go on back into that other brush that I was using for saffron and I'm just going to go back in with Turkish delight and I'm just going to apply a little bit more of that because I want to kind of really that color to like really stand out because this color is super pretty and I am loving it so I just want it to stand out a little bit more so I want it to come to come higher up and kind of blow into that saffron color Okay, so my mic cut out, so I'm gonna do a voiceover on this part. Um, so I'm gonna go on with this chocolate color from the palette, it's called Nefertiti. And I'm just gonna go on with this angled brush from the same set. I normally, honestly, wouldn't use a brush like this for this, but I wanted to use as many brushes from the set as I could. Um, and I'm just gonna be applying this to that outer portion of my eye and kind of blending it into um, that Turkish, I think it was Turkish Delight shade. So I'm just blending it into there. I mean, and this brush worked out pretty good for what I needed it to do, but honestly, normally I wouldn't use a brush like this for this. Sealer, and I'm just gonna kind of cut my crease but not really too heavy or too bright but I'm gonna go in and cut my crease um, and I'm using this um, black opal I believe it's called cover cream or cover something I will have it down in the description box I use that to cut my crease um, 
but it's I'm not doing it very neatly because I don't actually want it to be like a really defined cut crease. I'm gonna use amber because I feel like amber is a shade that I have never really used on my channel before. So I feel like some of the other ones are kind of similar to the looks that I got. So I'm going to use Amber, which is the fourth one in from the top, this shade right here. And this one kind of feels like I might need to use my finger. I'm just, uh, I feel like this is, oh yes, God. Yes, come through, pigment. I'm going to take another fluffy, the same fluffy brush that I've been using because it's the only like blending brush from the set that I can really use. And I'm going to go back in with Nefertiti very lightly. So, I'm going to go on with my liner now. Um, usually I would wait, but I kind of want to see how it applies over this little kind of glitter eyeshadow. Uh, okay, I'm going to go on with um, this cream liner. This is from Juvia's Place. Um, it's their black eyeliner. I'm actually going to try this one. And I'm going to try and use this little brush that came in the set. And I, I remember I told you guys in the review I don't usually like brushes like these but I'm gonna try and use it all right let me see if I can rehab this yes this is exactly why I don't like these liner brushes because they always they always like double up on you like it just doesn't thin out enough it's so annoying uh, okay so I just, I grabbed my Juvia's Place freaking liner brush that this um, liner came with and I'm going to use that to line my eyes because that brush for the set was not, it was not working. It was not conducive to what I was trying to do. So, um, which this liner brush from Juvia's Place, if you guys have any of the liners, they're actually really, really good this brush like and usually I don't use the brushes that come with any of like anything but it's actually really good it's dual and it has the thin side and it does have like the angle side and I actually like both sides because I actually use the thin side to do like on top of my lid and then I use the angle side for my wing part okay that's good. That's all I had to do. Um, I feel like I want to put on lashes, which I don't usually do, but I feel like I want to for this look. Um, so let me find some lashes. Okay, so I'm going to be doing the lashes off camera, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I have my lashes on. You guys probably can't see them, but they look pretty big to me. So now I'm just going to go in with my makeup wipe. I don't have to wipe away any extra. That way we can stop start working on my favorite part, which is the skin. 
So now I'm going to go on with a primer that I only have a sample of, but I definitely think I'm going to go by the full size one. It's the Too Faced Hangover uh, Primer. Um, I really like how this stuff applies. It feels slightly like a moisturizer. Um, I love the consistency of this. Um, I just love how it goes on the skin. So I definitely think I'm going to go buy the full size. I think I had just got it with a sample from something I ordered from Sephora or when I was in store or something. Um, I got a sample of it. So I really like it though. So I think I'm going to go buy the full sized one. Okay, so we're going to let that sit. Okay, next I'm going to go on with this. I always like to put this under my eye. It's the Pure Hydrogel Lift. Um, and I always like to apply this under my eye. Um, I feel like it really helps my concealer underneath my eyes stay in place. Uh, I'm going to go in with a little, a little bit of my Beauty Bakery um, Flower. This is the banana one. I'm just going to go on with a little bit and just apply it to my nose because that's where I get the most oily. And I want to see if this helps with the oil. So usually I know a lot of people apply it all over their face. I'm not going to do that because I usually don't have that problem. I usually just have it right on my nose. Alright, so that's it for the banana powder for now. Alright, so now I'm gonna go in with my color corrector and I'm just gonna apply this um really pretty much anywhere I have like a lot of darkness, which is usually above my lip. Um I would do under my eyes, but I haven't been liking doing using this particular product there, so I'm not gonna do that today. Um, but I am just going to apply it to some of my, like, dark spots. And a lot of my dark spots really aren't that obvious to you guys. But they're obvious to me. And I'm going to go on with this angled kind of fluffy brush from that same brush that I got from Preseer. And blend it out. Just blend it out a little bit. I feel like, I don't know if you guys can see that. This concealer is getting really like, I don't know if it's because I've had it for a long time, but I feel like there's almost like little stickers in it or something. Like, I don't know. It's just not as seamless. Let me if I use my finger. And it used to be when I first started using it, but... Let me see if you hear my finger help. I'm going to go on with my powder and just apply that. And this one is from New Evolution. So I'm going to do a voiceover for the rest of the video because everybody came back home and it was kind of loud in my house. Um, but I'm going to be going in with one of my favorite foundations right now, which is the New Evolution Foundation. It is in the shade 104. I will have a link for this website down below because I actually really, really enjoy this foundation a lot. I enjoy the foundation. I enjoy the powder foundation. Um, so I'll leave the link for that down below. Next, I'm going to go in with that black opal cover paint. I believe it's in the shade Honey. I'm not too sure. Um, <clears throat> but I also go in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in Fawn and just apply that as well. Just so that the highlight's a little bit brighter. I'm just going to blend that out with a pointed kind of tapered brush and then I also go in and blend it back out with my beauty sponge. 
guys in my beauty bakery video um, I don't think it's out yet but I do have a review on this coming out um, so I'll give you my thoughts on this powder but it's kind of honestly hit or miss with me depending on what look I'm doing but it's just it's not a tone of yellow that I would normally go for so um, it worked out in this look in the end but like as I was doing my makeup I was just like oh my god no but I will have a review on the products from Beauty Bakery that I do have. Um, I do have it. It's actually should be out soon. So next, I'm gonna go back in with that saffron shade. I'm just gonna apply that to the lower lash line um, as well. I did apply some black eyeliner to my waterline off camera. And then I'm gonna go in with a fluffier brush with some more of saffron and just kind of kind of smoke that out a little bit more because I wanted that color to really show up on my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna go on with this shade, it's called Oud. And I'm gonna apply that to my inner tear duct just to give my eye a little bit of highlight. I actually really like this shade. I kind of wish I would have applied it wet because I feel like it would show up a lot brighter. Even though it does show up right here, you guys can see, but I feel like if I sprayed it with a little bit of Fix Plus or something, it would have just really brightened that area up a little bit more. And then I'm just going to go in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and just blend my real lashes into my falsies. <music> I'm going to go into the Black Radiance Contour Palette and I'm just going to use that dark shade to set my contour, which I did do that off camera as well, but I didn't do that much contour. Now I'm going to go into the Saharan Blush Palette. I don't remember the shade that I used, but I, ha I will have it down below. Um, I used, you know, that kind of muted out purple kind of shade, mauve shade, and just blend that out with my foundation brush just so that it looked a little bit more seamless. And I'm going to set my entire face with my NYX Matte um, Setting Spray. And then I'm going to go in with a liner. This is Espresso by NYX. And I'm just going to line my lips before I apply my liquid lipstick. This liquid lipstick. This is from Dose of Colors. I believe it's called Mondays, and I'm just gonna apply that to my lips. I wasn't honestly really feeling the lip at this point because I I don't know. It just felt like a little dead to me. I, at first, I was gonna completely change the lip color, but I'm just like, you know what? Let me try something else. Um, and I actually ended up liking this, so I went in over this with um, the ColourPop liquid lips, not liquid lipstick, it's like one of their high gloss in Stilo. It was with the, the collab with Ellery um, and I actually liked this lip a lot better kind of on a glossy side, which I usually don't like glossy lips. But that is the completed look guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I actually really, really enjoyed this makeup look. Um, definitely enjoy this palette a lot it's super pigmented let me know if you guys want to see me do a couple more looks using this palette in the meantime please make sure you guys are subscribed and turn your notifications on so you do not miss a upload thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel and i will see you guys next time bye